Hello, and welcome to the workshop called Using Teacher Ease to Create an Online Grade Book. I'm going to be your trainer today. My name is Konstantin Charlampus. The first thing that you would like to do is to get online by double clicking on your browser, whether it be it Explorer or Firefox or something else, and entering the Teacher Ease website URL, which is www teacherease.com that's www.teachereease.com and when you do that you should come to a window that looks something like this the first thing you want to do is using your Howard County Public School System email address you want to enter that right here. So here I am entering mine. And your default password is going to be your employee ID number, which is usually the capital letter E followed by five digits. So enter that right here. and click on login. This will take a couple seconds and then you will come to the main page for teachers. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to click on setup, which is under gradebook. Right there. And since this is the first time you're entering you will be creating a class today as well as a very small student roster. The first thing you're going to do is click on classes, like so. And then you're going to scroll down here. These are classes that I've already created. Right. You're going to create a new class by clicking create class. So you click it right there. And then you want to give the class a title. Uh, you may choose one that you're currently teaching, or you can invent one just for now. I'll call this class English 10. And there is a bunch of other information which you may choose to enter if you like. Uh, I'm choosing not to enter any of that other information. You may choose to do so, depending on how much information you want to be sharing with uh, both parents and your students. And what you want to do is you want to unclick this little check mark here where it says take attendance for class. This uh, teacherese can be used as an, att uh, as an attendance format, but for now we're just going to use it just to do our grades. So you unclick that, you scroll down to the bottom, you click on save, like so. The next thing you want to do, so you see here's your new class right here, English 10. We just created it. All right. You want to go back up to main. And now that we have a class, well, we need to populate that class. So we click on setup again. And this time, we already have a class, so now we want to add a roster. So we click on roster. Now, all you have to do is go right here, and you want to create students. Okay. Now, this seems like something that might take a little bit of time at first, but it is something that you will only do once in the year, and then you have the gradebook for the rest of the year. So we click on Create Student, and for the purposes of this workshop, we're going to create three students. So let's start with John Doe. First name, last name, and the grade level. We'll say 10th grade. There, again, there's other information you can enter if you choose. For now, we'll just leave it at that. So we scroll down and we go, we will click on save and add another. And we're going to also add another student, Jane. And her last name is also Doe. 
results in the 10th grade. And we're going to save and add another. We're going to be adding one more student, and that student is going to be me. And my name is Constantine, and the last name, Charalampus. Whoops. All right. I am also in 10th grade, and this time, because we're finished, we're just going to click on Save. And now here is our class roster for English 10. So the, up here it tells us the class, which is 2008-2009 English 10, and these are the three students that are in this class. Myself, Jane, and John. And again, you can add as many or as few students as you like. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on my name. So we click on Constantine Chalampus right there. And this kind of gives you a summary of the information that is available for you. And you can do that with all your students. So now that we have a class and a class roster, we want to actually create an assignment. That's what this grade book is for, to keep our grades. So we click on main, and then we click on, instead of setup, we click on assignment. Right. And if you have multiple classes, you might have to choose which class it is that you want to create an assignment for. So we're going we're gonna to create a class for our English 10 class. We're going to click on create assignment. And now there's this form for each assignment that you create. Again, you can give as much or as little information as you like. We're going to try to keep it simple over here. So we'll, we'll gonna, we're going to give the assignment a name. Let's call this unit test number one. Okay. And it's asking us how many points is this unit test worth? And we'll say 100. And you can give a whole bunch of other information or you can just click on Save and Enter Scores and Comments, which is going to allow you to enter scores and comments for each student in that class. So we click on that one. And, uh, and now these are the three students in that class who wrote that unit test. So being the intelligent student that I am, I got a 98 out of 100. Jane got a 77, didn't study so hard, and my brother John, he did a little better, he got an 85. And we just click save right here. And now it shows us the grade as of today for each of these students based on this one unit test. And the more, the more assignments that you create, the more accurate these grades will be. So from here, what we want to do is we want to take this grade book and we want to make it accessible to our students. And what we do there is we go up here where it says communication, okay, and we click on email addresses. And here's me. I just happen to be first. I'm going to click on Edit. Okay. And my email address is already here. But if it wasn't, we would add it. So let's just pretend it wasn't there. We would add the email address of the student. Okay. And here it asks, should we send a welcome email? Yes, you should, because that welcome email will have a password which will allow me to access my grades. And then we simply click Save. Now, once I've clicked that Save button, an email is sent to me which will give me information on how to access my grades. Okay. This empowers the student and is a professional tool for, for teachers.
Now, what we just did, we just did three students, and we sent one of those students that welcome email. Uh, that would be myself, and that is actually also your assignment for this particular workshop. Uh, I should be receiving uh, invitations to check my grades from you uh, as a test. Okay. Uh, you can set up all of your classes in this manner. Okay. And you can check out some of the other features of Teachries. There are a lot of them. So take your time, play around with it, uh, and it's a good way to stay organized and keep both, your uh, both the parents and the students informed. So enjoy. If you have any questions, please email me. And that's that.